to show you how I like to contour and highlight. So it can be quite difficult to start off with if you're not used to it. So I always recommend starting with creams first. So I really love using these sticks. They're by Maybelline. They're shine free foundation sticks. One of the colours I'm using is Classic Ivory 120 and the other is Toffee Caramel 330. One is slightly lighter than my foundation colour and one slightly darker. With highlighting and, and contouring, it's all about bringing out your features. So the features that you want to appear bigger or closer to you, you're going to highlight. The features that you want to try and disguise or hide or make look further away from you or smaller, that's what you're going to do contouring, use contouring for. So I'm starting with a light colour. So places like cheekbones, along nose and places like that. So to suck, if you want to know where to put it, you suck in like this. And it's that part that catches the light. So just along here. My war paint on. Down the nose. In the centre of your forehead. A little bit above your eyebrow. Chin. You can put a bit under your mouth here too. Sometimes you get shadowing there and it makes it look like you're older. Next to your nose. Just along there. You can put a little bit along your jawline just above where the dark's going to go and that can help bring it out too. A little touch above my lip. There we go. And then I'm going to get the darker colour and I'm going to do all those areas that I want to darken and make look smaller. So you suck in. So it's that part that, that goes in when you suck in. Along there. This is really going to bring those cheekbones out on the sides of your nose. So this will define my nose. And then around the parts I want to look smaller, because I have a massive head full of huge brains, I've got to disguise some of it, or try to anyway, and make it look smaller. Crazy. <laughs> and along my jaw line. This will help, um, you know, if you've got a bit of double chin or anything there, it'll help define your jawline and your chin will be more prominent. So now I'm going to get my Beauty Blender. So I love the Beauty Blender. It really blends your makeup really well and it's so easy to use. So what you do is you actually wet this and then you squeeze out the excess water and it swells right up. And then, uh, and then it's sort of like a bouncing motion. So you're pushing it on and then kind of flicking and... You can do a little bit of circular motion as well, but it's just more spreading. So I've started with the light areas and then I'm moving on to the darker areas now. circular motion, circular dabs, blend it. And around the areas that you feel like, um, sometimes this can push the foundation off, so if you feel like you need more coverage you can dab like this, but it keeps all the foundation there rather than pushing it off. I usually like to do that around my eye area as well because it's such delicate skin there. I don't like dragging along that skin. I'm just going to use the other side of it just to get in these areas. And that. So any smaller areas, it's really good. You can use that side of the blender because it's the point. And it's all blended in. So that's contouring and highlighting guys, it's really good, I love highlighting and contouring because you can darken areas and then really bring out um, features that you want to bring out too, like your cheekbones and 
brow bones and darken the areas around my forehead and chin and it just really defines your face and I love the look it gives. I hope you like it. Okay guys, so now I'm finished with my contouring. I've got my full face of makeup done and I'm ready to go. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and be sure to follow me on my Facebook and my Instagram.